Well, one very important event where uh, your relatives from all over the place uh, came to attend was the Jubilee celebrations. Oh, that yes. right in 1958. Oh, yes. And that, that really was a great time. And uh, my mother made a television appearance and made a, made a little speech. And uh, the girls' junior school put on a pageant of their history. And um, they thought it was rather funny because we all wore long skirts down to the ankles in about 1915, you see. But anyway, they added a quite good representation of their, of their own history. That was, by the way, but the main function was the Hawthorne Town Hall, and the, uh, the college most generously presented a painting by Mr. Penderbury, a painting of Venice, and uh, this was in the foyer of the Hawthorne Town Hall. Would you like to see the, the pictures? Yes. And there's one with my uh, Ronald Mark Browning, the youngest grandson, standing with the picture. And then the other one, when the um, as many students as possible wanted to meet mother, and they had a sitting up the staircase of the, of the Hawthorne Town Hall. And even managed to get the and painting the, into the photograph the picture, as well. To see everything. And then uh, my mother was using a wheelchair and a stick, so uh, they wheeled her down the outside passage to the platform and helped her onto the platform, and we got onto the more formal part of it. But, uh, but there was a great gathering of the of the Scatter's family that day. And as a follow-up to those celebrations, uh, there was the event of the laying of the foundation stone of the Ethel Swinburne Centre. Oh yes, well of course that, that was uh, considerably later because the, uh, the project for the Jubilee was to build the centre. It was a centre for, uh, uh, well, for coming together. And um, Forgive me, I remember saying the motto is through, through diligence to understanding. Well, it's very important to understand all kinds of things, but the most important thing is to understand one another. This centre was for people to meet and have um, conferences and the representative council, the students to meet and, uh, and to have a hall. And uh, the hall is a great success. And then mother, my mother was very, I wasn't quite sure what to feel about the request to call it after her because she was rather sensitive about her name, but she just loved it. She loved the young people and um, her portrait and my father's are in the hall now, of course, mm -hmm. as you know. Of course you have But this was the, um, she made a tape recording of a speech which was played at the ceremony but I actually handled the trowel for her and the company sent her the trowel afterwards, which is one of our memories. And this is your yes. souvenir trowel? And, uh, and Sir Rupert Hamer was there. Was, uh, Mr. Parsons was president, but Sir Rupert, uh, President Sir Rupert, always called Dick in those days, was my cousin, and he was uh, vice president. This was a great time, really. Oh, and uh, for the first time, I hired a television set. They, it was on television, so I hired one. We had it that night in our home as well. So. Let's see. And you yourself um, have written several books already, and at the moment you're working on um, another biography of George Swinburne. Yes. Uh, we found some of my father's personal diaries, and uh, uh, there's a, there's a wonderful book by Sir Frederick Eggleston and Dr. Sugden, of course, which is the standard biography. But it's very political. It was through the most complicated political period. And though there is a most beautiful section at the end, which is more personal, uh, they seem to be lacking his, uh, his personal life, and particularly his life when he first came to Australia. And I'm just trying to write something to to fill in and uh, perhaps have something more handy and readable and quickly uh, quickly taken in. But it's really interesting and I hope to be getting on with it. But most of the things I've written have been associated with some purpose for research into the history of some institution or, some, or something like that. It's not a, 
don't mean creative authorship or anything. Oh, so, so this will be a, a different style of thing, much more personal. Or a more, or more like a research history for a certain purpose or something right. like that. I'd like to thank you for your time with us today, Miss Swinburne, and I'm sure we're all looking forward to your forthcoming book, The, the Biography of George Swinburne.